So now flipping science, we're looking at the C equals an on V formula. So we use the C equals NLV formula when we're trying to find the concentration of a solution. So the concentration in moles per litre is found by dividing the number of moles of solute by the volume of the solution. And that gives us our concentration. We need to make sure we get the units right, so we need the number of moles in moles and the volume of solution in litres. Um, you can also use this magical triangle here to rearrange this equation um, as we need to. And we'll have a bit of a play of that later. So let's look at an example question. So the example question says, what is the concentration of an HCl solution, so hydrochloric acid solution, that has 5 moles of hydrochloric acid dissolved in 2 litres of solution? So I'm going to underline the 5 moles and the 2 litres because that's the important bits of information that we need. First step, I'm going to write out what I know. So my number of moles of hydrochloric acid is 5 moles. My volume of solution of hydrochloric acid solution is 2 litres. Now I'm going to write my equation. So C equals N on V. If we look at our magical triangle over here, we can see our C, our concentration, our number, and our volume. So concentration is number divided by volume. Now I'm going to substitute in my numbers. So that's equal to 5 moles divided by 2 litres, and I get 5 divided by 2, so it's going to be 2.5 moles per litre. Like that. We can rearrange the equation to find the number of moles in a particular solution if we know the concentration of that solution and the volume. So we're rearranging the equation into n equals cv. So if we look at our magical triangle, we can see our n here, so n equals c, and we can put a little time sign in there, so n equals c times v. So the number of moles is equal to the concentration in moles per litre multiplied by the volume of solution. And this makes sense if we look at our units. So mole equals, so we've got moles per litre, so moles divided by a litre times by our volume in litres. And then if we cross that one out and cross that one out, because they cancel, we get moles equals moles. So that all works out. So let's look at an example. So this example has how many moles of potassium permanganate are in half a litre of a three mole per litre solution. So I'm going to have half a litre and I've got three moles per litre as our concentration. So I'm going to write down what I know. Uh, my volume of KMnO4 solution, potassium permanganate, is half a litre, and we're going to change that into a nice decimal, so 0 0.5 litres. My concentration of KMnO4, the concentration is 3 moles per litre. Okay, so now I'm going to write my equation. So C equals N on V, and I need to rearrange that. So N equals C times V, I'm multiplying both sides by V. So N equals CV. N equals 3 is our concentration times 0 0.5 litres, so 3 times 0.5. That is 1.5 uh, number moles. Okay, ignore my bad writing, but we get 1.5 moles. Our final rearrangement of the formula is V equals N on C. Um, we use this one occasionally. So we're trying to find the volume of solution where we know how much of the solute we've dissolved in there and we know the concentration that we're aiming for. So this way we can find the volume of that solution. So again, we're just rearranging the C equals N on V here. If you look at our magical triangle down here, we've got C equals N on V, so V equals N on C. So the volume of solution that you need to make up is the number of moles divided by the concentration. So let's have a look at another example. So the example has, uh, what's the volume of a solution that has 0.45 moles of sodium chloride dissolved in a solution of concentration 0.75 moles per litre? So I'm going to highlight the important bit. We've got 0.45 moles, that's our number, and we've got 0.75 moles per litre as our concentration. So my number of moles of sodium chloride equals 0.45 mole. My concentration of sodium chloride solution is 0. 0.75, where's my decimal go, uh, moles per litre. I'm going to write out my equation, so C equals N on V. I'm rearranging the equation, so N equals CV, V equals N on C, which we have down here. So V equals N on C. 
my number of moles is 0 0.45 moles. Uh, my concentration is 0 0.75 moles per liter. And I'm going to pop that into my calculator so I can figure it out because I can't do that one in my head. So 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.75. I should be able to do that in my head. Yeah, 0 0.6. Okay. So if I go back, we've got uh, 0 0.6 liters. So what that means is if I wanted to make this solution up, I'd weigh out my 0.45 moles of sodium chloride and I could figure out the mass of that using another equation. And I'll do an example of that in a second. And I know the concentration I'm trying to make, so I'd weigh out the 0 0.45 moles, pop that into a flask and add it up to 0 0.6 liters or add 0 0.6 liters to it. And that way I would have the concentration that I'm looking for. In the final example, we're going to look at uh, what's more typical of one of these types of questions. Uh, we've got 38 grams, so we've got a mass of a substance, in this case it's sodium hydroxide. That's dissolved in a certain volume of water, and now we need to figure out the concentration. So there's a few little steps here. First thing, we need to figure out how many uh, grams, well, how many moles of sodium hydroxide is in 38 grams. So that's our first step. So we're going to do number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, if you don't know the equation, we'll find it over here. So N equals M on big M. So number of moles is the mass over the molar mass. So we're going to find that. Now, I'm cutting out a few steps here just to make it a bit quicker. The mass we have is 38 grams. The molar mass of sodium hydroxide, we need to go to our periodic table. So sodium, 22.99. Uh, oxygen 15.99, so we just say 16, and H is 1.008. Uh, 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.008, and we can put that into our calculator. 38 divided by open brackets, 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.008. Close that off, and we get 0 0.9500. So I'm just going to go two significant figures here. So I'm going to go 0 0.95. So we get 0 0.95. Zero and our unit there is moles because we're looking for a number. Now we have the number of moles, we can figure out what the concentration is going to be. Because so we've got our volume is 750 milliliters. So 750 mils. You need to turn that into litres, that's 0 0.75 litres. So now we've got our number and our uh, volume, we can figure out our concentration. So write the equation, concentration is number on volume. So 0 0.95 divided by 0 0.75. I'll go to my calculator. Now we're going to leave this answer in here because we want to keep all those significant figures. So we do answer divided by 0 0.75 equals, and we get 1.27 if we go to here. Now we've used two significant figures in both of these, so we should really just go to two significant figures. So that would be 1.3 moles per litre. So we go 1.3 moles per litre. And there you go. Some bad L work down there. So today on Flipping Science, we looked at how to use the um, C equals N on V formula. That's it for Flipping Science today. See ya.